So what is evolution? Well, for you and me, evolution really means that we're part of a process that's going somewhere in time. And so the question is here, when we think about the word evolution, what we want to consider is, to what degree are we actually aware of the fact, are we cognizant of the fact that we're part of a process that's going somewhere in time? To what degree are we aware of the fact that we're part of a process that is becoming more complex and more self-aware in time? And that our own experience of consciousness and of cognition is the very leading edge of that movement. So what does evolution mean to us? It means that we're part of a process that's going somewhere. We're on a moving train. Are we aware of this fact every day, from moment to moment, from hour to hour, from day to day and week to week? Are we aware of the fact that we're part of a process that's going somewhere? Is this a perspective that we have access to? Or is this a philosophical abstraction that remains far removed from our moment-to-moment -moment awareness? So what is evolution? Evolution means we're part of a process that's going somewhere in time. It's a process that is becoming more and more complex. And from the perspective of human evolution, the evolution of consciousness, more and more self-aware. So to what degree are you and I and all of us as individuals aware of evolution, aware of the fact that our own experience of consciousness and cognition is part and parcel of that process that's going somewhere, that every single aspect of our human experience, from our biological experience to our psychological experience to our cognitive experience, is all part of a process that's going somewhere in time and that nowhere is any aspect of our experience separate from everything else that's happening in the evolving cosmos that we're all part of one process that's going somewhere so do we see our moment to moment and day to day experience from this perspective do we see it do we feel it do we know it to what degree do we actually know that we are evolution and action? And I think this is really the most important part of this particular question about what is evolution for you and for I as, as human beings at this particular point in time is to what degree do we actually know that we are a part of this process, this process that's going somewhere in time. The more obvious this becomes to us, the more apparent it will be that our conscious and very deliberate engagement with the process is imperative for the process to actually evolve. And this is very, very uh, exciting, and this, of course, becomes an ultimate source of meaning and, and purpose for the human experience that we're all having right now. So to what degree are we aware of evolution means, to what degree are we aware of the fact that we're all part of a process that's going somewhere. Do we feel that movement? Do we feel that movement? Do we feel that we're going somewhere? And it's very interesting, especially for those of us that are interested in the evolution of consciousness and culture, that, that as we make heroic spiritual effort, as we make the spiritual effort to become more conscious, more self-aware, as a result of making that spiritual effort, we begin to feel our own movement. I'm moving, I'm becoming more conscious, I'm becoming more aware, I'm seeing more and more of the cosmos that produced the me that's seeing it, and as I'm seeing more, I'm able to perceive more and more of the movement. So what happens then is we really see the relationship between the willingness to make the effort to evolve makes it possible for us to simultaneously begin to actually perceive the very movement that evolution really is all about. So once again, evolution means that we're part of a process that's going somewhere. And the question is, how aware are we of that movement? And what's going to change everything for us is our awareness of that movement and ultimately our participation 
in making that movement happen. So being aware of evolution means many, many things. But ultimately, from an evolutionarily enlightened perspective, it really boils down to not only awakening to, to, the, to the fact that we're part of a process that's going somewhere, but ultimately, to what degree are we contributing to the movement itself? And so, for the evolutionarily enlightened individual, that perspective really points us back to ourselves. And it says, well, to what degree are we enabling and encouraging this process of evolution to occur you know, within this evolving cosmos as a result of our own heroic efforts? Because ultimately, I feel, especially at the next stage of human cultural development, you know, the ultimate source of meaning and purpose for the individual is going to be found through how much we're actually contributing to the process of evolution that made it possible for us to be here.